In the 1940s and 50s, man sent all sorts of living creatures into space. Fruit flies, mice, and rabbits. And then there was Gordo, the squirrel monkey, and Laika, the Russian dog. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong successfully landed the Apollo Eagle module on the Sea of Tranquility, becoming the first man to ever set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You'll notice that NASA is always careful to say, first man. Did you ever wonder why? A month before Armstrong's landing, NASA conducted a top secret mission. The objective of Apollo 10 and a half, to land a child on the moon. That child was Nicholas. This is his story. as a French baker and filled the house with aromas of butter and vanilla. His mother was a yoga teacher. She taught people how to make empty their heads. But Nicholas's head was filled with visions of stars and planets. choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. At night, he dreamt of playing a character in a Tintin story, hitching a ride on their red and white rocket, arguing with Captain Haddock and playing with Milou. One day, he sat down to write NASA a letter. I have been training a lot and doing all the things that astronauts need to do to prepare to go into space. Eating right, exercising, making my muscles strong, and studying about rockets and plants. So Nicholas waited and waited. Until one day, the letter he'd been waiting for finally came. And it was time to say goodbye. T-minus 50 seconds, the vehicle now pressurized, and the vehicle is go, as is the spacecraft at this time. Engaging engine one and two. Copy that. Well, this is the all The last team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. Thanks, guys. Can I have done without you? Coming up on the 10-second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. The tower is clear. That sure looking good here. Coming right down the line. Roger. Roll complete. Roger, roll complete. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. This is Houston, you are go for staging. And as Nicholas was leaving the Earth at 9,000 feet per second, he wondered how Gordo and Laika had felt. Had they been a little scared? Did they think of their mom and dad back home? Everyone's reporting go here. On the second day of his trip, Nicholas passed the time as best as he could. Houston? 
say again, please. Never mind. Houston, Apollo 10.5. I'm getting an alarm on Ox Tank 1. Stand by and we're looking at it. Initiate restart. Roger, restart. Houston, no change. Houston, I think I have a leak on the oxygen. Okay, in Houston, we'd like you to attempt to reconnect fuel cell 1 to main A and fuel cell 3 to main B. And I'm getting a little worried now. Houston, this looks like a mess. That's affirmative. Uh, we're reading you. We're uh, trying to come up with some good ideas here for you. Houston, the leak has been fixed. Resuming course. During a full moon, if you look hard enough at the post where Captain Armstrong landed, you'll notice a little toy left by a little boy almost 40 years ago.